Today we need to get into the company Twitter and them kind of posting something and their message from one of the staff about Jungkook. And then we need to get into people saying that Jenny during her Calvin Klein shoot was with Jungkook and all the hate. And then of course we have RM having all of his stuff deleted from Instagram on his new Instagram account. So you definitely this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey Spilling Mug merch, and let's go. The first thing I want to get into is actually something very interesting that I think not too many people know about, which is RM's second Instagram account. Now, if you follow RM on his original Instagram account, you'll probably know about the second account, but he hasn't really been posting on the original account. So I think a lot of people, maybe those who don't check back are not aware. So a little while ago, he posted a black photo. In the black photo, he tagged a second account. Basically in the second account, I guess he is posting just random things, either from the military, just stuff that he is doing in the military, or just random things. Now I can't say for sure why he decided to make a second account, and if it was because he wanted to get out of the aesthetic that he had built on his original account, or if it was more so a legal thing, like him not being able to work and posting on social media would be considered work, so then he built a second account that would not make money. And the reason why I say I'm not sure about that is because you can't really make money on Instagram from just posting. You would have to accept brand deals, which he doesn't accept brand deals on his original account anyway. Regardless of the reason for the second account, he was being pretty active on that account. I think he was posting almost daily on that account for a little bit. However, people were very shocked recently when they noticed that on that second account, RM deleted everything on that account. Only when you go there, there are no photos or anything that's posted. He still has his followers that are there, but nothing else, not even a profile picture. Now, exactly why he did this, I have no idea. However, this wouldn't be the first time he has decided to take the photos off social media. People have theories as to maybe this means he's getting ready to post something Thing on his main page and doesn't really want his second page to outshine with the stuff that he might post on his original page. It might not be exactly that, but people think that something is happening. Something is coming up. However, when RM did this last time on his original page, he deleted a bunch of posts. It didn't actually mean anything was coming. He just felt like he wanted to do that. And the BTS members are notoriously known for deleting everything anyway. I think people within the fandom are already aware that every time the members post something that if they want to keep it or ever see that post again, they should probably screenshot it or save it somewhere as it would probably get deleted. Of course, I can't sit here and give you specifics on what the reason might be for him deleting this, but I do think it's very cute that there's a lot of people within the fan culture who have been swapping pictures with each other, saying like, oh, I have this photo of him from way back at this point, and then sharing those photos to make sure that everyone has those photos. While those amazing and totally unharmful pictures have been deleted and possibly gone from the stratosphere forever, places like Twitter, which I believe should be entirely deleted, have still maintained many terrible things. This one I was a bit confused by, but I will try to explain as best as I am aware. Of course, I may get in some details wrong, but if you guys are not aware, Twitter has recently announced something very interesting. So when a post gets posted, and let's say I'm sure you've seen this, where it's an article that's posted and the tweet is kind of about the article, Twitter will now, if it's clickbait or if it's incorrect, they'll kind of leave a community note at the bottom to say the article you're about to click is not correct, or if a tweet is just factually incorrect, whether it's about a specific virus or something, there will be a note at the bottom that will say that this information is misleading. Here's the real information. So if you've been following along at least for the last few days, at least then you'll be aware that there was a billboard truck that was put in front of Hype's office. The billboard truck talks about how they want to rid Scooter Braun from the label, and they don't want some Zionist to be control of the artists. And specifically, they don't want the K-pop stars to work with other Zionist artists. I think there were mass people, or there was some sort of viral post going around that made people believe that the truck wasn't necessary. So a lot of people were fighting against people saying that the truck wasn't necessary. I, of course, was on the same board with the people who said it wasn't necessary because it is never necessary to do an action like this. 
But of course, the community that believes that these drastic measures are super necessary are the ones that are fighting to make it seem like their actions are not crazy and trying to justify their actions when it is crazy. One point I can say that makes this crazy is the fact that these billboard trucks are not cheap. They are potentially thousands to tens of thousands of dollars to do it for the duration of how long they decide to do it. And that money can easily go to feeding the poor. It easily can go into Black Lives Matter. It could easily go to so many things that BTS has endorsed that these fans are specifically choosing to ignore to send over a cause that they need to read up on more anyway. The specific note that was originally written on Twitter was basically saying that Bang PD had gone to Scooter Braun specifically to get help from Scooter to work on Jungkook's album. The fans then requested the official post or the note to be changed to say that the label doesn't financially support and the artists don't financially support Zionism or Zionists, and they just want Scooter Braun removed from the label. Now, you know the cause is confusing when even the Twitter staff who had originally written this post was even confused as to what the cause is even about and just decided to take whatever the fans said and just literally copy and paste it verbatim as their official note now. And the official note that is documented now still makes no sense because it's saying that the label and the artist don't support Zionism, but completely ignoring the fact that the label and the artist have chosen to still work with Scooter Braun. Like it wasn't that they didn't have a decision. The label wanted Scooter Braun on board and they're claiming that the label doesn't have essentially any say as to whether or not Scooter Braun is a part of the label, but then they're requesting the label to remove Scooter. And you can tell the Twitter staff is just annoyed because they're just like, I'm not even going to figure out what this drama is. You want this said? Here you go. This will be said. And basically the thing that's being said actually makes less sense than what was originally said. And so do I believe that the label supports Zionism? Of course. The label supports people of different ethnic and religious backgrounds. And that is what Zionism is. Zionism does not mean genocide. Zionism does not mean any of those things. It's just an ethnic and religious background. People get so much controversy lately for some of the dumbest things I've ever seen. And I know audiences from all around, different fandoms and audiences from different sides of the internet tend to not like to read into things or do research. And they tend to run with a lot of misinformation, but then call everything else misinformation. But it is very prominent within K-pop. It's so prominent because these people they just like to believe whatever they read online that is snappier and easier and they would much rather read a hate post that takes them five minutes to read than watch a 10 minute video that would explain everything. And some of these people who are in the fandom don't have nuance. They can't understand something past the very broad sentence of it. So if I say something, there could be a lot of nuance behind that that is hard to understand, but because they don't understand it, they send hate or get angry. For example, there's a lot of hate surrounding Jungkook and Jenny, and specifically their Calvin Klein campaign. This really shouldn't be a competition because you don't see any other artists being dragged into this, and Calvin Klein has many Korean and Asian models now that are a part of their brand. However, those Asian models are never really dragged into the conversation. When people say, oh, Jenny is better, no, Jungkook is better. However, the reason those two get compared together so much is because each side of each of their fans wants their favorite person to be the best in the Calvin Klein campaigns. Jenny recently had a campaign come out and then received mass hate because people were hyping that up instead of people hyping up John Cook's Calvin Klein campaign. And then there are other people who believe that Jungkook and Jenny were dating each other or were collaborating with their Calvin Klein campaign and that they probably shot the campaign together on the same day. Specifically, this idea comes from the fact that it appears they're shot in a similar area or it appears that they're shot in a similar way. However, this is probably unlikely as each shoot seems to be like a whole day thing and it would be impossible to kind of rush one shoot to do another shoot. Neither would they want to do that because their goal would be to try to get as much content as possible from both artists so that they can have as much content as they can to post. So they likely wouldn't have half day, half day. They would just have two full days for each of them. People online love to compare and say things like Calvin Klein loves this person more than the other person. Specifically, fans like to say that Calvin Klein likes Jungkook more because Calvin Klein has wished Jungkook happy birthday and not Jenny and just crazy things like this. This is just absolutely insane because a company doesn't really care about any of that stuff. And people like to say, well, the company wishes Jungkook a happy birthday because he brings in the most sales. However, the person wishing Jungkook happy birthday is a social media team, so they could just be a Jungkook fan. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks just love the comment right here. Love you. Bye.